Ahead lies the answering quarter, where the scholars of Charlian gathered to hone their knowledge. Even from this distance, tis plain that much of it has been given back to the wilderness. Was that really that fast of a quest? Okay. The cave in which Matoya resides is situated on the southern edge of the hinterlands. In choosing the spot, my master desired privacy among all else. As such, the cave is extremely well hidden. You will not find it unless you know to look for it. We shall follow the road south until we reach a bridge. Rather than cross it, however, we shall ford the stream that spans, thence head straight until we arrive at the base of a bluff. Nice. As a story skipper, those were always really confusing. Because you talk to somebody, you press escape once, and then you just, uh, immediately, immediately, um, turn it back in. So, Rose Gold, those were very confusing. Why even have it? Nice. So. I should get a lot of experience for this. I'm getting like 11,000 per. They still feel a little odd how short some are and how fast some are, but in general, I would say Heaven's Word is a lot better at the video game telling the, the narrative story than ARR. ARR, there are aspects of the video game that I think do a disservice to the writing. And since it's not like a book or a movie, it can only be taken through the video game, you have to kind of trudge through the disconnect between game mechanics and storytelling. They've done what they can to try to bridge it, but it's still a little odd. All kinds of herbs grow here, and they appear very well tended. This is the entrance. Hmm. You seem unconvinced, Meteor. Well, that will only add to the surprise. A word of warning before we proceed. Stubborn geniuses make poor hosts, and time will have done not to improve my master's temperament. Doubt not, but that there will be sentinels and traps both to deter unwanted guests. But we'll not be deterred, will we? Go on and touch the wall yonder. You will want to have your weapon near at hand. Cool. Oh, hello. Those sentinels may suffice to discourage the average trespasser, but not the warrior of light. The way should now be clear. Come, let us go and see my master. You know it's rude to enter without knocking. <laughs> the use of today. No manners at all.
Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Heavy-handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. To give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. The one there in the fancy duds, that's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it? <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? Ha! We were constantly at each other's throats. Like rabid dogs we were. <laughs> oh, he was our stubborn bugger, was your grandfather. <laughs> Never a dull moment when he was around, though I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady? Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth you didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eorzea to flirt with a wrinkly old woman. Now out with it. What is it you need of me? Well, uh, I, I need, like, actually a whole list of things, if you wouldn't mind. Aziz La. I never thought I'd hear that name again. You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagon set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soi and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings, such as primals and dragons, and find ways it did too, frightening ones. Such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Ah, some things never change. One day, that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you. What a ridiculous cutscene. What a ridiculous cutscene. T'was some um, fifty years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. Faced with a threat of invasion, the people of Charlian scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part, I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. <laughs> Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. Do mine ears deceive? 
was you, was it not, who were so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us? I don't remember. Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the Forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. That's why I decided to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. How old is she? I thought the Exodus was like... a hundred years ago or something. Oh, no, I guess Alphino would have been alive. 18 years ago? How how long ago was the Exodus? Cuz cuz Alphino and Alice were born here, right? 15 years ago. When did they first hear from When did they first hear from Heidelin? 50 The falling out was 50 years ago. Some 50, okay. It was some 50 years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilsebard under its rule. And then 15 years ago was the Exodus. But they spoke to Heidelin like, 300 years ago, which already put them on a path to know that abandoning your home, whatever you need to do, you need to do. It didn't say for sure you needed to abandon your home, but it definitely said whatever you need to do, you need to do. And something like nostalgia for a city isn't going to cut it. All right. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the etheric converger? Aye, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But, you'll have to fetch it from the Forbidden section of the Great Library. Ah, oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the Library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. I have to assume that gleaners have a way of navigating the Library, should it be needed. Not so fast, you lot. Stoller and the boy are staying with me. Why? Why? They're supposed to help me in the duty support system. I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. They'll be bought and lodging, don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. The great library's guardian shouldn't pose any difficulty for a hero like you. You'll hardly notice Stola's absence. And the girl, boy, whatever, you'd only get in your way. But if it turns out you aren't up to the task, well, then I'll know you can't be trusted with something as dangerous as an etheric ram. Now the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll load you one of my servants to open it. The broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, boy. <laughs> Greetings, good sir. I am Broomsy, my lady's servant of some 50 years. May I say what an honor it is to serve you. 
I am given to understand you wish to enter the great Gubal library. To find it, pray head east upon leaving this cave. The building will come into view shortly after you reach the collapsed bridge. I shall go on ahead and await you at the entrance. When your preparations are in order, pray come and meet me there. It will be my pleasure to unlock the door for you. I don't know what a broom's voice is. It's cool that it's a dungeon. It's a bummer that I can't explore it as an area. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm definitely gonna want to fly. Okay. Um, ba -da -bum. Duty support with the broom? Uh, yeah, I guess we could. Duty support with all brooms. Why would there be more than one broom? Have they are they gonna tell me why there's more than one broom? Getting some great experience here. Um so once I hit 60. It would be nice if we're still on the 59 quests, it may be worth dipping back to try to grab 59 on something. Alright. You stand before the great Gubal Library, one of Heidelin's foremost repositories, repositories on knowledge. Alas, it has fallen into disuse since the Exodus, some summer since. In all those years, its halls have become welcomed not to the coming of a single soul. Its floors felt not the loving brush of a broom. But my mind, apologies, sir. Pray no attention to the dreams of a humble broom. You are doubtless eager to venture within the retrieve of my lady's toe. I shall unlock the door at once. When you have what you seek, pray return to the cave and report to my lady. 